the next theorem. For the runtime variable x and constant a and b, we have the following, the first one, expectation of a is equal to a. So expectation of a constant is the constant itself. So if we have the expectation of 5, 5 is a constant, so it's going to give me 5. If we have the expectation of ax is going to be a expectation of x. So if we have expectation of 5x, it's simply going to be 5 expectation of x. The third one, expectation of ax plus b is equal to a expectation of x plus b. Expectation, suppose we have 5x plus 3. So it's the same as what? Expectation of 5x plus expectation of 3. We've seen above that expectation of 5x becomes 5 expectation of x plus expectation of a constant is the constant itself. Next, variance of a constant is going to be the 0. So if we have variance of 5, it's going to be 0. If we have the expectation, it is 5, but variance of 5 is equal to 0. The expectation is what? It is a measure of central tendency, whereas the variance is a measure of dispersion. For expectation, we find what? The average, we find the middle value. Whereas for the variance, we find the dispersion, we find the spread of the data set, right? Next, we have variance of ax is going to be a square variance of x. So if we have variance of 5x, it is going to be what? 5 to the square, which is 25 raw of x. Last one, variance of ax plus b is equal to a square variance of x because we've seen that the variance of a constant is 0. So variance of 5x plus 3 is the same as what? Variance of 5x plus variance of 3. So here we're going to have what? 5 square means 25 raw of x plus 0. We're now going to look at a question where we're going to use this theorem. Two fair cones or dots and x is the number of heads obtained. Find the following. So before we can actually find the expectation, the first thing to do is we need to draw a probability distribution table. And we are interested in the number of heads. So the first step is what? Let f be the random variable number of heads obtained which means that x can take different values. In this case, x can take what? Um, we are tossing two cones. So either we can obtain what? No heads at all. Or we can obtain one head. Or we can obtain two heads. So x is the random variable which takes values 0, 1, 2. Next, we're going to find the probabilities. So for e, x, there is a probability assigned to it. So probability of x is equal to x is what? So what is the probability of getting no heads at all? It is 1 quarter. Probability of obtaining 1 head is going to be half. Probability of obtaining 2 heads is equal to 1 quarter. And if we add all the probabilities, we should get 1. Now we are going to find the expectation. When we did the question last time, we've seen that the expectation is equal to 1. Now, from the expectation of 1, so we've got the expectation. Next, you're asked to find the expectation of 2x. From theorem, we know that the expectation of ax is going to be what? A, expectation of x. So here we have what? 2, expectation of x. We know the value of expectation, 2 times 1, which is 2. We've also seen the expectation of x squared. We've calculated last time where expectation of x squared is 1 and a half. The last one, you're asked to find the expectation of 
3x square plus 7x plus 5, which is equal to the expectation of 3x square plus expectation of 7x plus expectation of 5. So we have what? 3 expectation of x square plus 7 expectation of x plus 5. 3 times 3 over 2 plus 7 times 1 plus 5. And the answer is 9 over 2 plus 7 plus 5. We have 16, 1 and a half.